today, just like we discussed earlier, I'll screen you whether you're healthy, whether you have gingivitis or periodontal disease. And how I go about doing that is I use this instrument, it's called the probe, and it's actually calibrated by millimeters. We know that anywhere between one to three millimeters is what we consider healthy. And what we mean by healthy is this outer portion here, this white section, that's the enamel, that's actually the part of your tooth that you see. Where that enamel ends, there's a little bit of tissue attached to the root of your tooth. And then right underneath here in this pale yellow is the bone. So in essence, what I'm really doing is I'm measuring where that bone level's at. So we drop down in here, we get numbers between one to three millimeters. We'll see the tissue's real light pink, no bleeding. And when we look at the x-rays that we took, we can actually see this enamel here again, that faint white line. And right where that enamel ends, you can see the bone is right there. Do you see that? Great. And gingivitis is actually caused by a bacterial infection. It's caused by P. gingivalis, and these bacteria actually specifically eat at the tissue. So now when we drop in here, we're still going to get numbers between 1 to 3 millimeters, but when we actually touch this tissue here, it's going to bleed. And that's what they're trying to show you here in this picture. If we actually touched any of those areas, we would see that bleeding. But on this x-ray, we can still see where the enamel ends. The bone is still there. We have not lost any bone. Whereas periodontal disease is the actual destruction of the bone, and it's caused by many types of bacteria. And these bacteria not only eat at the tissue, but they begin to eat at our bone. So now when I drop in here, I'm going to get numbers ranging around 4 millimeters. We'll see some puffiness and bleeding here. But what's most important is when we look at the x-ray, we can actually see this enamel here, where that enamel ends. We can see that this bone has dropped down. Where a moderate case is now when we drop down in here, it's going to range between 5 to 6 millimeters. So again, we can see a substantial amount of bone has been eaten away. We'll see some puffiness and bleeding. And here we can actually see this bone dropping right down around there. An advanced stage just means that these numbers are going to range 6 millimeters or greater. And what that tells us as a clinician is that we've lost about half the bone here. But one of the reasons why we screen all our new patients is because not only are you going to lose that much bone, are you going to look like this, but the majority of our patients actually look up in here in these two sections because most people have been going and getting their teeth cleaned. And when we just clean your teeth, just like we talked about earlier, we clean that outer portion, which is the enamel, and that one to three millimeters. But as you can see in periodontal disease, we not only need to clean that outer portion, but we need to clean along that root surface as well, where it's deeper. And we call that area a pocket. Bacteria sits down in there just like a pocket in your pants, and that bacteria will continually to eat at the bottom of the pocket, destroying that bone. So not only do we need to clean that outer portion, but we actually need to clean that pocket area out and get the bacteria out of there. So what I'm going to be doing today is measuring six places around the tooth. We want to hear numbers between one to three. If we would get anything over three, we'll pull this chart back out and decide what classification that you're in. Do you have any questions, Connie?